Haribo. 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 श्री चैतन्य चरित्रमृत आदि लीला Pray to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that that with the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I 
like even the most unqualified person can reach the transcendental world with mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Everyone's perspective is different. So it is it is said in this Granth. Kali Yuga is known to be like full of problems and like everything, each and everything is Kala. Kala means a thing that is gone and destroyed. Like everyone keeps on fighting here. Nobody has same perspective. No one wants to understand each other. If everyone has one voice, then all this, all the problem, the all the solutions to problems we can have, we can have solutions when people agree with each other and they have unity in, within them. When there are different opinions, then there is the problem. The, there is fight between husband and wife because they don't have like same opinion. While getting married, they made the vows. At the time of marriage ceremony, they took vows. Like, I will do whatever you say. Is this the vow or not? Do you remember it or not? Like considering all the elements, all the natural elements, like fire, air, water, they all, those all elements are considered in fair, like we take, the vows are taken in presence of those elements. Like I'll do whatever you say. This is the vow people take. But what happens after marriage? Like for some time it's okay. After some time, after some time, they both keep running away from each other. Because this is Kali Yuga. This is the nature of this Yuga. What did I say? So in Chaitanya Chaitanya it is stated that the this Kali Yuga, everyone everyone is fighting everyone is having disputes disagreements in Kali Yuga. everyone is fighting no one wants to understand each other and no one wants to like no one has the same perspective on one thing it's like how many directions are there there are four directions East, West, North, South. If everyone walks in the same direction, then it's good. But in Kali Yuga, everyone wants to go in different direction. It's like we are one. It's like unity. But what is the slogan of Kali Yuga? We all are different. So no one is walking in the same direction here. So th there is like like we are one voice, we are one. But but here everyone thinks we are different. So when we people think they are different, there's fight. They argue with each other. 
this is this is the nature of this material world like you you all know this so there are also some kinds of this uh, like everyone don't have the same opinion people who follow the path of karma and there are people who follow the path of knowledge and then there are people who follow the path of bhakti they are all different they have different thoughts they have different beliefs so there is difference in opinions of everyone Like what is the solution? It's compromise. This is the only solution. It is the compromise. So, So I'm talking about sadhu and shastravat like speaking about sadhu and granthas It's like to have people to preach people there there are like preachings done by sadhu and granthas so that on some level they both they like all people have same like same opinion get built within their hearts there is a shloka in mahabharat in mahabharat there is a shloka and there there is like great saints who walk on path they walk on one path yamaraj is said like how many we are mahajan mahajan mean like very well respected person so there is brahma ji narad ji shiv ji shambhu shambhu narad chandra kumar govind Pralad Maharaj, Bali Maharaj, Anjanak Maharaj. Sukhdev Goswami Bhad. So these are, these are Mahajans. I 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is extremely merciful. 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 Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is extremely mer
प्रहलाद महाराज मदर When Pralad Maharaj was in the womb, what did Narad Ji do? There was mercy of Narad Ji, and which is why Pralad Maharaj Ji was devotee. Like there was no Hiranyakashipu in in that at that time. When he was in the womb, Narad Dev indirectly spoke a lot of Hari Katha, and Pralad Maharaj heard that. So this is why they said, "Sadhu Sang." In another story, there is also stated. Like some scars get built up from birth, so parents should have focus. Mother and father should be conscious how they are treating their child. They should care about their child. It is important. Okay, this is materialistic talk. What happens next? Like a person grows up, and the kind of association a person gets involved in, then everything, its desires, its thoughts, are affected by that. Someone goes and follow the path of knowledge. Someone follow the path of karmas, and someone follow the path of bhakti. Someone believes in God. Someone is an atheist. So one is Astic and Gnostic. Astic is like a person who believes in God and has a firm faith in God, and Gnostic means an atheist who does not believe in God at all. So there are two types of people. Everyone says, "I drink and enjoy." What What will you do worshiping God? Atheists think like that. They say like this bhajan and and this devotional practice is nothing. Body dies, body is burned. What happens next? Then it becomes ashes. Nothing else happens. It turns into ashes and nothing happens. Where is the proof? What happens when you die? So these kind of people enjoy material sense gratification. So this, so people think like they are powerful and they become egoistic. Person surrenders in front of Loyan. It's like he thinks he's so powerful, and and they don't have their own mind. They just surrender. <laughs> like only person with knowledge can do everything. If you don't have brains, then what will you do? No one will respect you. Is it true or not? In this material world, like everyone tries to betray you, everyone tries to steal or snatch something away from you. They they do a lot of drama. They make a lot of excuses, and then they kind of betray you and take things away from you. If you don't have money, then 
snatch it from someone else. This is the nature of this world. If you don't have money, then take loan from people. What to do? This is all, this is how these people work. They don't know. They don't know that taking loan from someone and not repaying it back is going to affect their karmas and they will have to keep going in cycle of birth and that again and again due to that. These people are called Isra, the people who are atheists. They don't believe in God at all. And then, and then there is another type of, type of people who think like like everyone is emerged from a divine light and everyone gets dissolved into divine light when they die. This is an example. Like there are bubbles in the water. Like there are bubbles in the water. After some time, the bubble collapses and it gets merged with the water again. The, the bubble comes from the water and it dissolves again in the water. This is the example. Similarly, people in this world think like everyone has emerged from a divine light and then they will get emerged, get dissolved into divine light at the end. This is people what they think. What is this body? We are in this body for some limited time. What is this body? True or not? Like God has, God has given a lot of things to eat. God has given a lot of things to eat. And so there are like a lot of things to eat. There you have choice what you want to eat. They are like seafood, they are like birds. So this is, this is a huge ecosystem. God has created this world to eat food. Some people say like this is this is like they eat everything. They just want to eat. They eat fish, they eat beef, they eat birds, they eat all types of animals. They don't think about anything like what is right or what is wrong. These are atheists. They they thought like God has created this nature, this whole world, so and everything is for us to enjoy. So we can eat animals. That's what the teeth think. These people really think like they can eat all types of animals. And the other type of people is... So, so there are like different means of transport in this world. So, for example, in air there's aircraft, in water there's ship, and on road it's car. So these are Sesavadi. And then there's Astic people. They're like they believe to God in. Okay, so then there are people who think that, okay, there is God, but the God does not have a form. 
they believe in God, they believe in natural energy, but they believe that there is the God has no form. These people believe that. In Shastras, it has been explained very nicely. Some people, some people believe in God. Then God also loves them back. Also, there are there are people who believe in God, but still they so I'll give you an example for example, people believe in Krishna so for example in Dwarka people like people are surrendered to Dwarka this Krishna not Brajarindranand Krishna so in no, everywhere there is like they surrender to Dwarka this Krishna it is for rules and regulations in Vrindavan Vrindavan Krishna is beyond rules and regulations he is like he steals, he runs after girls and gopis. So this is beyond rules and regulations. So so Vrindavan is so people think, oh no no, Vrindavan Krishna is not nice. Kurukshetra Krishna is nice. Dwarkadis Krishna is better because he follows rules and regulations. Because he got married, he got respected life, he ran a good kingdom. This is good. Dwarkadis Krishna is nice. What did Vrindavan Krishna do? What did Prajendra and Shamsandra do? He like is enjoying he is stealing butter. Is it good to steal? Is it good to lie? You tell me. So similarly, what I am trying to say is like everyone has a different opinion and they project all their thoughts on God they judge it like what is it what what did God do what did you see in Bhandir one there is Prab, uh, he killed Pralambasur in Bandir 1. He did Davanal Leela in Bandir 1. There are a lot of Leelas in Bandir 1. It's like. Like people don't say like Krishna has killed demons, Krishna has done good deeds. They only accuse Krishna, oh he's doing Ras Leela. They judge it with their perspective. And then and then it's like they have headache. Like Krishna lifted Giriraj Govardhan for seven days, seven nights. He lifted the Giriraj Govardhan mountain. People don't want to listen to this. So Giriraj Govardhan mountain is very huge. To destroy the ego of Lord Indra, Krishna did that. Is it possible for a normal human? No. Krishna was seven years old when he did that. You think? They don't respect Krishna for this. They only accuse Krishna. Why is he enjoying with the girls? Who are gopis? Understand each and everything and then make a decision. Go gopis are not normal females. They are not normal girls. Gopis are the expansions of Srimati Radhika.
they are not ordinary girls like they just hear one thing and then they just keep on judging it and uh, thinking like oh why is he enjoying with why is he doing vaslila like krishna also kill kaliya nagini yamuna river did he do this or not tell me this is true he kill kaliya nagini yamuna river like a like krishna has killed a lot of big demon big big monsters krishna has killed them he killed all the demon like bakasur taktasur putna krishna killed putna first putna it means not pure so that is the meaning of putna it means not pure so it is important in bhakti life that our heart is pure so it's like not pure if something is not pure then it's very hard to develop spiritually so in a clean and soft heart lord comes and recites in the person heart how should be a heart of brahman brahman should be humble and soft and only then lord will recite in it So Brahman is known for being very humble. Yeah, he's he's very simple. He lives very simple life. It's known for his simplicity. And people who are like they have tendency to betray, they have tendency to steal, they have like their heart is not pure. These are known as a Brahma. So there is like Brahman and a Brahman. So a lot of delicious meals were prepared, and Suram Bhattacharya's son-in-law he came, and he said, "Oh, this sannyasi eats a lot. Like, whoa, he's eating really a lot." Then the sannyasi got angry. What did I say? Tell me. Ram Chandra Khan. and the dis- and the disciples madhavendra puripad there is ishwar puripad ramchand and ramchand madhavendra they were the disciple of ramchandra ishwar puripad and madhavendra puripad this is again invited mahaprabhu to eat and then and mahaprabhu is sat down to eat and then they're saying oh he eats a lot so how can a sanyasi eat so much this is like the propensity to judge and propensity to criticize this is known as criticism
O Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you are a big ocean of mercy. You do Nam Sankirtan of Sri Krishna. It's extremely blissful. You you get completely absorbed in Krishna Nam and you cry. And in the water of your tears, everybody dives into the deep ocean of love with that. Like you were you used to do used to do darshan of Lord Jagannath and and the way you chanted the holy name, the way we could feel the mood in you and everyone gets absorbed with you. Krishna does not know how to cry. He does not cry. So what does he do? He rubs his eyes to act like he's crying. So that's the leela of Krishna. Namami Shram Krishna do? He used his hands and rubbed his eyes so expecting at least some water should come so I can act like I'm crying. So similarly the, the people also people show People show they like try to bring water in their eyes to to show other people. So this is what Krishna did. Like Krishna does not know how to cry, so that's why he rubbed his eyes and expecting oh some some water should come so I can act like I'm crying. What but what did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu do? He used to chant holy names, having the darshan of Lord Jagannath. He was like completely absorbed in it and crying so deeply. And seeing the tears of Mahaprabhu, all the people nearby, they all got, they all got like affected. They all got attracted by it. Like only by seeing the tears of Mahaprabhu, everyone wanted to be, had a desire to be absorbed. Like 
but it's been stated in this. Like you are a deep ocean of mercy, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And you are blessing everyone. You are attracting everyone, you are blessing everyone without even thinking about their qualification. You're just spreading divine love. Like currently we are not crying. But Ma but Mahaprabhu is extremely absorbed in the mood. And they're like tears flowing and flowing and flowing. So if you take bath in Gange, river Ganga, your heart will become pure. What is Manusta? It's like it's a drought, there's no water. What did Mahaprabhu do? Like in, in form of So it's it's like everyone's heart was like dry, but Mahaprabhu so in desert for like it there's no rain. Everyone everything is dry. What did Mahaprabhu do? Like our heart is like a desert, it's completely dry. What did Mahaprabhu do? Mahaprabhu showered divine love rain on that desert. Rain of divine love in that desert. So it's like even a even a hard dead person he can be he can be alive with this. This thing is so deep. So it's like there is one thing you put it in water and the next day it grows and it's green. You can buy it from the market. So it's Sanjeevani Bhuti. Go to the market and explore. People eat that. It's like it's a medicine. People use it as a medicine. It gives power to the body. It is an Ayurvedic medicine. Like there is a procedure to take this medicine. I am giving this example because like in desert there is no rain. Like everything is dry and everything is like extremely hot due to sun. It's like everything is burning and dry. Completely dry. So there is no rain there. Even if there are some clouds. So even if there is a chance of little rain, it's so hot that uh, when, even when the rain starts, it gets vaporized quickly, and the rain does not fall on the ground. So what did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu do? This is like our heart is like a desert. So what did he do to the desert? The desert 
became really beautiful because of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy, it can become really nice. He showered like divine rain of divine love. It's like that. Well, that's what Mahaprabhu did. It's like how did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu do this? He did this using Harina. Through Harinam, using his tongue. Like, what is the solution to everything? Harinam, Namra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. The more you chant, the more your heart will become pure, the more your heart will become soft and then you will then only you can feel the bliss if you don't chant then your heart will be dry like the more you chant the more happy you will be this is true, the more you chant the more you stay happy In Kali Yuga, chanting holy names is the best. It's like even bigger than the God Himself. The name of the Lord is bigger than the Lord. Like, like trusting the name and chanting the name of the Lord. Hanuman, Lord Hanuman, crossed the ocean. And like, Nam can provide power. Nam is extremely powerful. So you should chant holy names daily. In Chaitanya Charitamrit it is explained. Like if you chant the names of Krishna, you will slowly become detached and then slowly everything will happen. and you keep chanting holy names then love will start manifesting in your heart so this is the power of the name and importance like if you don't if you don't chant the mantras then you won't have the knowledge you won't have the knowledge of what is your relationship with the lord mantras assist the process in, in, in helps you in identifying what relationship do you have with God. This is the process. So this is why I chant holy names properly. You should chant holy names properly. You should chant mantras properly. Nam and Mantra are very, very important. Nam can do everything. Nam assists you in Anarth It destroys your sins. But Mantra is important. You need to know what your relationship you have with God. So this is the difference between Mantra and Nam. There is mantra, once you chant swaha, you cannot take it back. This is the power of mantra. Swaha, the nature of mantra is very powerful.
स्वाहा मन प्रचोदया Like these, these all are names. So instead of Krishna, you're saying Krishna. So. So you're saying Gopi Janavala Labha. It's just different term. It is powerful. It is mantra. What What is in name? Is some pollen pod. It's like while chanting the name, you're calling and crying for Lord. You're like, Hey Krishna, Hey Radhe. This is the beauty of it. Like there's not a lot of difference between mantra and name. Nam, mantra and nam. There's not a lot of difference. So this is why with Nam everything happens. But Mantra Diksha Adi is important as well. Like if you have not taken Diksha, so there are some some things that you have to do before taking Diksha, for like feeding Brahmins, giving donations. There are like lot of things that has to be done before taking. Yeah. In Vaishnav Vidhan, it's not very it's not very hard. But generally, there's like a lot of things that have to be done before taking diksha. It's like you have to call Brahmins, you have to feed Brahmins, give don give donations, donate some cows to a poor person. These are some rules and regulations. So as soon as you start chanting the holy name, all your sins start moving away from you. Like it will take away your sins and also good deeds. It take away both of them. It takes away both of them. It's like even if there are good deeds results that are pending in your account, then you will have to suffer good deeds. So Nam is destroying all types of suffering. So it's like destroying your bad karmas and good karmas, both of them. So you will have to come into this material world again to enjoy your good karmas that you did here. So you will need to go into another world and enjoy it. So once. So once you spend the amount of good karmas there, you come back here, and then you make more karmas. So this is cycle. This keeps on going over and over again. So even if you do bad karmas, there's a result for that. Even if you do good karmas, there's a result of that. So nam destroys both of them. It's like initiating a process to get out of this cycle. Like people are coming and going, coming and going over and over again in the loop. So to ripe the fruits of good deeds and bad deeds, the person has to keep coming and again and again into this world. So it's like don't do good deeds and don't do bad deeds. What should you do? Collect sukritis. Like try and collect as much sukritis as you can. This is.
गौरी वैष्णव सिद्धांत You don't have to follow dharm, and you don't have to follow a dharm. It has been stated in Mana Shiksha by Raghunath Das Goswami. Like, don't commit a sin, and don't do a good deed. Like, it creates a karmic reaction and a karmic relationship with someone. It's like we are tied to it then. So there's Tamsik, Ramzaratsik and Satvik. They're like three types. And we get tied by this in karmas. Which is which one is the best? You tell me. So there's a lamp of gold and there's a lamp of silver and there's a lamp of like like which one will work? You tell me. A knowledgeable person will say gold is best. Lamp of gold will work the best. A less knowledgeable person will say, okay, silver is good. Like silver is good. And the least knowledgeable says, like, I'm happy with the iron one. Iron and steel is good. So, all of these three, all of these three are like, kind of, kind of, they're tied to each other. So, so if you're trapped, trapped in a chain, it does not matter what type of chain it is. It, even if it's a gold chain, or it is a silver chain or is it a iron chain or steel chain it does not matter a chain is a chain it has trapped you in something so you are trapped it does not matter what element the, of the trap is made of so it's like you don't want gold no silver and no iron then so what it is then so we want Radha Dasyam we want Seva or Srimati Radha Dasyam and that is the best. Like if you want to believe in God properly, it's like the three elements, gold, silver and iron. There are like three ropes, gold rope, silver rope and iron rope. What do you want? We don't want none of them. We don't have to take any of them. So things happening in the divine world are beyond these concepts. There is Yashoda Damoda and then there is Radha Damoda. My Yashoda tied law Bal Gopal. So that is known as Yashoda Damoda. Another one is Radha Damoda. So, uh, the friends of Srimati Radharani and Krishna tied both of them together. That is Radha Damodha. And they tied it using the, a garland. They tied both of them using a garland. That is Radha Damodha. It is Madhurya Ras and Garras. And Yashoda Damodha, it is Vatsalya Ras.
So this is like this is we are all tied to this material world. Okay, so the so desire your desire should be to serve the divine. Not get involved so much in this material world. Like be be tied to love. No, no, don't be tied to like. And and it's like there's a lot of type of love. You cannot tie God with it. So not even in Dwarka, not even anywhere. You cannot tie Krishna. Only in Madhur and Vatsalyas you can tie Krishna. In Vrindavan, on, only this happens in Golok Vrindavan. So it's Braj Parakriya Bhav. It is Madhurya Prem. Like Dwarka Dhi Krishna got married to Satya Bhama. But they did not. They were not able to tie Krishna. But but gopis in Parakriya Bhav, they tied Krishna very easily. This is the explanation. So I was saying about the, the name Nam. So this is the manifestation of Lord Himself. It's like make makes the assist the person destroys all their types of karmas. This is the power of holiness. So bhav is developed and then it grows. You keep chanting the holy names and then your bhav develops. And then you can be completely absorbed in devotional practices. This, this, this was Katha about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 